Okay, I'd like to um, describe the difference between a uh, twisted and untwisted wing paddle blade. Uh, I get a lot of people asking me, uh, what do I mean by twist? And when, I, when I'm referring to twist in a kayak paddle, I don't mean the difference between the left and the right blades. That's, uh, I'll refer to that as feather. Um, but twist is if you lay a straight edge near the, near the throat and the tip and you measure that difference, that'll give you the, um, the, um, the amount of uh, degrees that the blade's twisted. So this is a number eight, uh, a flyer wing paddle number eight. It's the most twisted blade I know of. Um, it was designed by Ted Van Dusen um, a while ago. So if I lay a straight edge near the throat and near the tip where it's still flat, and you look at it like this, there's you can measure the amount of twist. So like that would be 90 degrees, which would be too much. That'd be about 45. And that's right around 22, 24 degrees. You know, you can move it around on the blade and, and get the full full width. Now, let me show you an untwisted wing paddle. This is our number five. It's a real, it's a basic blade. If I lay the straight edge here in the same place and right here, and you line sight down them, there's zero twist. Um, the difference between the two blades. A highly twisted blade needs to be rotated correctly. So when you're paddling, it enters the water and you rotate nice, the blade goes off to the side. That twist makes the blade want to go off to the side. If you paddle wrong, like a canoe paddle, where you pull it like this, uh, a highly twisted blade will want to spin under the boat, which is bad for beginners. And also it can be tricky in really sloppy, rough conditions. Um, the advan another advantage of a high twist blade is it eliminates some cavitation. So if your blade's not fully buried, um, it doesn't suck air as much as an untwisted blade. In fact, a lot of uh, oil tankers, freight freighters, their props actually have some twist to help get rid of some of that cavitation. So I, I have found personally I can get higher cadence uh, when I'm really going fast out of uh, a twisted blade. I like them a lot, they're real technical. The advantage of a non-twisted blade is, let's say you've got an adventure racer and they're, they're using a wing for the first time and they do a hundred other sports and they really don't have time to get good training. They can grab a, an untwisted wing and uh, use it incorrectly and it won't knife under the boat as much. The penalties on um, untwisted blades are the entrance and exits aren't as clean. So sometimes you get a little popping going in and you lift a little more water coming out where the twisted ones are a lot cleaner. Um, any of the wings that are used too long are gonna make a little bit of noise going in. But when you have the right size wing on a, on a fully twisted paddle, it's quiet going in and quiet coming out and it loves to go off to the side. You just have to have the skill to use it. So that's how you check them. So when you're shopping for wings, take two rulers in with you, lay them on there. The more it looks like this, the more I'd like it, um, but the less you may like it if you're not going to paddle that much.